Can you hear me? I can. Do I sound normal? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I have the headphones in my ears, but oh. the I can't hear anything through the headphone. Like, it's like I have earplugs in. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Try it without the thing and just normal. Let me see if it sounds better or worse or the same. Do you hear anything different? <laughs> sounds a little bit better, actually. Really? Because this is like supposed to be like a microphone. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but can well, you hear me? I can hear you. Clear. Okay. Clear. Very clear. Cool. Well, that's, I guess, all we need. Yeah. So, oh, are we going to start out by, like, trying to do the right thing? Oh, like, yeah. Wait, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, every time we try, though, it's the, the worst. <laughs> I know. And it even seems more awkward now that we're doing it at the beginning because it right. hasn't been going that way. Uh, all right. So... Okay, we just have to say hi to the people that are listening, and then we can say hi to each other. Okay, sounds good. All right. Okay. Hi. Hi. Oh, 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 welcome to the worst day of my life. My name's Cherish. I'm Megan. Stanley, quit licking your penis. <laughs> <laughs> He likes to do it when I'm like on the phone or he thinks I'm distracted because he knows I'm not gonna like try to stop him. Well, I guess we should we should explain what's kind of going on in our world right now. Yes. Um, so right now we are flooded. I'm trapped at home. Are you? Um, no. That's good. <laughs> the um where I work is definitely there's like massive flooding going on yeah. in certain areas but we are not flooded in this apartment and Good. we are not flooded out of like the main pacific highway but mm -hmm. you know what happens once you go on the old 101 like if I were to try to go to your neck of the woods I would not be able to get through that area no and that's why we're recording on the phone tonight too it's because we can't get to each other no. the highway that i take to go anywhere um it's blocked both ways oh my gosh with water and road closed signs so we can't even go you know usually we go to the next town over when we need stuff um or whatever we can't even go that far oh wow yeah between here and the next town is closed so luckily we stocked up on everything, you know, a couple days ago just yeah. for the heck of it we were in town. Yeah. We I mean we have everything we need as long as the power doesn't go out. Yeah. But it is creeping. Um the water in the backyard is creeping close ish to my studio area. Oh geez, yeah. Which is making me slightly uncomfortable, but I don't think it'll make it up here. Yeah, and it's not like you can really go get, like, sandbags. No, because we can't even go anywhere. Yeah. As long as it goes down eventually, Yeah. Um, we're fine. We're way better off than, like, a lot of, like, once you get into town here, it's bad. Yeah. So... So we have to record over the phone. So sorry about that, I guess, if anybody cares. I do. I, I wish we were together. I know. Well, we are together in the spirit. <laughs> of, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, being um, in the same proximity is, um, I would prefer that. But um, yeah, maybe we just need oh. to get kayaks and like try to make it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh over there at the kayak. I'll try that tomorrow. There's an inflatable boat. If I don't I can't find it, but I believe it's somewhere in the garage. Um at my house. Yeah, like it's at Sweet. an actual 
inflatable like boat and um you could go floating around you could go you could like get yourself to the other town by Mm -hmm. using some kind Mm -hmm. of a you know uh or (laughs) Uh, uh, or (laughs) you could use an or an Uh o-a-r go self down to the next town oh if there is a little boat, I would love to take it into the backyard, into the lake that we have there now, mm-hmm. which is not supposed to be there. And yeah. I want to bring Barb and Bo Bandy, oh. my ducks, out there to go swimming. <laughs> yeah. I think they would really like it. Did I tell you Barb is feeling better? Oh, well, I I didn't hear anything worse about Barb, so I was assuming that she was yeah. doing better. So after her bout with whatever, like, respiratory illness she had, now her quack, she, like, lost her voice. So her quack, it's, like, it does not sound like a duck anymore. It legit sounds like a duck, like a dog toy. (laughs) Like a squeak. (laughs) Like, (laughs) it's so sad. Oh, no. (laughs) Poor Barb. I know, but hey, she got better. I was so scared. Like, yeah. Well, you... I remember you got the antibiotics and stuff for her. Yeah, I love that duck so I much. Know. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> no, she she's a special duck. Or do you ever like? Are they? They're so they're both. Yeah. Oh, they're God. both girls. I'm. Why am I? I am. I am so brain dead too. I'm like. My brain is not functioning at full speed. It's okay. As long as we like stop what we're saying and sit and be quiet for a second and think, Mm -hmm. then I can cut out all the silence and then it sounds like we're just great conversationalists. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) The only time it's hard to cut it out is when we're just like, um, like, um, and like, um, which we both do all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking to Kenny's mom about that at lunch earlier because I was, I was talking, but then I realized when she was talking, she like does the same exact thing. Right. But you never notice, right? Yeah. But we were, that's the other thing. That's the other thing I've noticed listening to this podcast that I say all the time. I go, right. Uh-huh. I know. Right? I I've never noticed that I say even, that. Yeah. I say it when it doesn't even make sense. Uh-huh. <laughs> like you say something like that. <laughs> I feel like we're learning. Like, yeah, we're learning how to talk. Yeah, <laughs> by episode like ten or fifteen, we're we're gonna be we're gonna sound so intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> How's your week been? Oh, it's been a little insane, just the weather. But um, yeah. And that the weather then causes like things to kind of be insane, like at work. But I mean, it's all, it's everything kind of like works out. And I'm glad that I like the people that I work with. Um, but like sometimes, like when the weather is crazy and like having to be kind of out in it and going from like point A's to point B, and it's just like crazy, like being blasted by like snow. Ugh crazy um like hail um high winds like ripping things like 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 windows off of stuff and like I don't know it's just the weather has been nuts and like it did it went crazy last night it had been raining all day it was like flooding everything of course um like several of my coworkers had to move out of their spaces like to different spaces because their spaces were totally flooded like crazy um, and then they had to like emergency evacuate people out of some of the places. It's not funny at all, but it's just like, yeah, it's just like, always like, weird warnings about crazy stuff. Like, uh, basically just like the sky opening and just like dumping rain, like a bucket. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. Know. yeah. When it starts blowing really crazy here, like the apartment shakes, like the bed yeah. was vibrating. 
<laughs> not on purpose. Yeah, not on purpose because we have a vibrating bed. Though if we do, right. with it, we did, I'd probably be okay with that. Is that slamming sound still happening? That terrifying where it sounds like a monster is punching the apartment building <laughs> over? Well, no. And it's funny that you should say that because when it was happening, it seemed to only conveniently happen after those fuck face neighbors <laughs> upstairs moved out and uh-huh. uh, so i think what had, was like i think they left a door so i feel like something was slamming like inside of their apartment and mm. if now that there's like the new person that lives up there i don't hear this i don't hear that sound anymore um wow. so i feel like it was in relation to that although kenny says he called the real estate people and told them what was like the boom was going on and they're like um they I, well, they don't really do do anything. About yeah. It. <laughs> so it's like, oh, that sucks. You know, you can't <laughs> sleep at night because you're hearing the constant slamming, like door sound, repeatedly all night long. That's that's too bad. That was not. That was not just a door sound. Like it sounded like a like <laughs> wrecking ball hitting the side of the building. Like it, yeah. that was a big boom. Yeah. Well, it's just crazy because I got used to it. Just, you know, part of the everyday sounds of life. (laughs) The only thing that I never got used to, and I'm so glad that woman has moved out of this apartment complex, is I could never, ever get used to hearing that woman yelling and being, like, really horrible to her children, Uh Um, like, day in, day, day out. Just, like, even if she wasn't, like, saying something mean to them, like, just her, like, screaming at them all the time, which is, like, her tone she was just oh god i could not imagine being forced to like live in that kind of environment isn't that so sad yeah you gotta tell everyone what you heard her yelling at them that one (laughs) oh when she told they they were complaining because they were bored and then she like she like screamed at them to go eat ramen Uh, (laughs) they were like like you're bored why don't you go eat some ramen like that that was the cure for boredom was to go eat a bowl of ramen oh god <laughs> like um that's probably not really like teaching good like healthy um like you know future eating habits like you know it's like every time you're bored you go eat a bowl of whatever in this case ramen <laughs> yeah i mean those poor boys like i don't know like i uh anyway sorry i don't want to talk about that anymore I'm just like, <laughs> okay no problem <laughs> uh yeah there's a new lady up there she seems to have a young son um she's super quiet and even when she's like moving about upstairs and like you can still hear her it's not like she's like like pounding her feet around like yeah. slant that other lady just always like walked really heavy like like angry that was- angry yeah walk. <laughs> That was nuts. Like I only spent one night there and I could not believe how much stomping was going on. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. they had to be doing it on purpose. No one walks like that. I, yeah, I, I, I will never understand, but I, I definitely had several times, like, like there's times when I had started like fantasizing about things that I wanted to do to that woman to, uh-huh. like, <laughs> you know, like behind the scenes, like evil things that I wanted to do um, in retaliation to her being living up there and just being nightmare of a neighbor. But I did, I was going to go one night, put dog poop like on inside of her door handle of her car. Um, Or at least this is what I was fantasizing doing, um, (laughs) laying in the bed. I was just like, family had like a really fresh, disgusting pile of like dog shit out in the backyard. And I was just laying Mm -hmm. there just like, oh my gosh, like I just so badly want to go do that. But I talked myself out of it because I was like, that is not a nice, as my mom would say, like, that's not a good, like, that's not a Christian thing to do. (laughs) Um, uh, so anyway I did not do that I also there was times that I thought about because they'd have their kitchen window open and uh like they didn't have a screen on it so I always thought about getting like stink bombs and like throwing them through, oh. throwing them through the open window those things <laughs> are no joke they are not they really are not I remember <sighs> Trevor 
it was like when he was um like drinking a lot and he he threw one into like mine and dave's tent while we were camping and it was oh no and i was like you know a small a space <laughs> and it doesn't like this odor doesn't really like re like release quickly you know because it's like in a tent but right. it was yeah it was it was so so bad i think we were like, like gagging oh yeah <laughs> it's terrible well hey we i don't ever want to get on your bad side yeah <laughs> No, uh, if I if I do something like if somebody like um, somebody has to kind of initiate it like right I don't, I don't I don't just go around like being a dick to people unless I feel like they kind of deserve it like in a in a in a friendly way in a friendly how have way. you never gotten Patrick back for all of the just things he's done up. to you I'm storing them all up so that he'll just get like he's gonna get like one giant retaliation. <laughs> <laughs> for every it's like i'm keeping a list and yep. um the magnitude of the revenge is going to equal oh, as many times as he's fucked with me i'll add it into one like um, just don't don't like, leave fish in my house okay okay um did you end up making a list at all um, no i just kind of made somewhat of a mental a mental list but I, I don't know. It's just, um, no, <laughs> to answer your question, I did not. Okay. So I had this idea earlier this week that, um, I, I just started this flow of, I've always thought, okay, hold on. Let me restart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was trying to follow that, but <laughs> no, that was wrong. That was no your fault okay so uh i i've always thought that i didn't have very many like uh worst day of my life type stories to share Uh uh-huh and then the other day they just started flowing to me (laughs) it's like i like opened pandora's (laughs) box of like all of this yeah. stupid shit that I've done in my life that I've like tucked away and been like, no, let's not tell anybody about that. Yeah. Um, That's amazing, Cherish. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, yeah. It's here now. And so I started writing it all down and I thought, why don't Megan and I make a list each <laughs> of some terrible things um that have happened to us in our lives we can kind of like maybe exchange this list and then maybe pick off of that list what stories we would like to hear from each other just a little fun game but megan Um, didn't make a list oh (laughs) oh god i know i know i thought about making lists a lot um (laughs) Cool. Thank you for thank you for yeah. thinking about it. <laughs> I, did. I did, and I started making a mental list, which I needed okay. to like transfer onto. Um, I don't know. What are we? Are we? Um, That's just- okay because. So you started kind of messaging me some things that you were thinking oh. of. Wait, so I an invited um, guest entering this apartment. Um, oh God! Uh, com- coming home, it looks like maybe early from um a jo- a job <laughs> all right all right all right all right <laughs> say I, say your hellos okay Ho- yeah pause please okay yeah say hi i'm gonna pee are you still there yes <laughs> <sighs> Hold on, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what shameful thing i just did oh god you're already making new material (laughs) you know how the pipes burst in my studio while everything was frozen yeah i just peed in a cup and filled it like all the way up (laughs) and he started (laughs) stripping out of the sides of the cup (laughs) oh no oh Oh. Oh, my gosh that's totally something (laughs) that i would do for sure Uh (laughs) wow it was a little too much. Yeah. 
it might hang up on me, but you can try to look at like our messenger conversation. See if there's anything on that list that you would like to hear. Okay. Um, I really want to know why you were known around town as Floor Humper. Oh, <laughs> oh, because I used to do this dance move, um, like where I would like throw myself and sometimes I would like slide in between people's legs and then Ooh. do what what I, I think I was like attempting to do like a, like, like the caterpillar uh-huh. or the worm the worm yeah. um but it didn't look like that at all it looked like just like I was dry humping the floor, <laughs> according to people around because that some guy he's like oh he's like hey he's like you're the he's like you're the floor humper and I was like <laughs> Um, like you recognize me like I was doing that like for some reason like a whole lot I don't know what, like why necessarily because like I said sometimes it was just something that I did when I had too much drink um mm-hmm. and, but like there's I have a my mom took a picture of me doing it in some like bar in Sedona um and it was like some really super like creepy looking guy with like a crazy like just like I don't know he was like wearing all white and like a black belt and he was like super skinny kind of just like just just kind of a rough looking character um he had this crazy tribal tattoo like a barbed wire or something like around the, his arms and like I don't know just wearing like I think his his he was wearing like a like a tank like a white tank top which used to be oh. something like, like that's inappropriate probably to say now but um anyway yeah, he's like he's like standing like kind of straddled over me like pretending <gasps> like he's smacking my ass or whatever with this gross look on his face. I don't know. It's kind of a good picture. Oh! <laughs> I'll just show it to you sometime. Oh but um, how old were you? I'm like too old to be doing that. I'm sure. <laughs> um, I think I don't know. I was like probably like 20, I don't know, 23, 24. Hmm. Maybe like maybe even That's before. not too old. Okay. <laughs> okay good i mean let's not forget i was also a um uh, a mother <laughs> well yeah but you can't you can't make that change your actual age you know yeah or that i like humping floors purity <laughs> level yeah <laughs> yeah able to hump floors am i still mm-hmm. well I was trying to get my coworker at our uh, like New Year's bash because we had like a dance, like a dance party at work. Um, mm. And it was actually really cool because they had like a DJ like from like Portland or whatever came and did like I, I liked like I thought the set was like fun and like but it was kind of, you know, dorky like everybody's just no, I don't think anybody's really gone out dancing for like a really long time. Yeah, but it was like, you know, um they wanted everybody to be like vaccinated and, you know, I like masks and everything. But um, anyway, it was a lot of fun. I was trying to convince my coworker to, she has what she said is not a dance move, but I think it would work perfectly um, where she says she (laughs) gets her, like she basically goes into like a pretzel form. Like she like, you know, like takes her legs and wraps them over like, I don't know, a shoulder or something. And then can go around in like a circle, like by moving her butt whoa whoa so, yeah so I was trying to get I was trying to get her to do that while I did the while I did my signature dance move and then I was trying to get everybody else to come up with a signature dance move if they didn't already have one but nobody else seemed to be as into it as I was so no, I I was going to hump the floor but I did not I should have yeah. I know I should have done it. I re- actually that I do regret. Well, I was looking at your list and I was curious to know about um, the definitely like clogging um, some guy's toilet. <laughs> okay, so um, clogging dude's toilet. So I think that you are actually familiar with the apartment style that this person lived in where you have to go up the stairs to go to the bathroom 
Oh, yes, yes. Okay. So I I had just kind of started seeing this person um, and was at their house uh, oh. hanging out, watching movies, you know, doing like that sort of thing. Old school, like Netflix and chill. Yes, yes. It actually was Netflix, but the ones that came in the mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um suddenly I had to go number two, but I don't know if you know this about me, you might. I'm very quick pooper. Where <laughs> I think I've heard this before somehow for some yeah. reason. <laughs> yeah. maybe maybe on our road trips or something it's happened where like i'm i'm a stealthy pooper or i can go so quickly that no one knows that that's what happened yeah probably even faster than a peeing oh yeah so fast like i don't go until i'm ready and i'm ready i just go so Ain't that special <laughs> <laughs> sounds wonderful let me tell you <laughs> about my golden pussy so exactly no it gets worse so um another one of my um I guess golden pussy problems that is opposite of some problems that you tend to run into (laughs) when I go in number two it's not straight uh like I very rarely have uh, what you call the D uh-huh. or diarrhea. <laughs> that is just like when I'm sick, right? Otherwise, um, I'm I'm a pretty solid person, okay? <laughs> like real solid. Maybe even too solid sometimes. This was probably one of those too solid sometimes things. Yeah. Um. Oh, and you and I have talked about like your weird relationship with your brother that you have (laughs) my weird relationship that I have with my brother is that when I have a really incredible with either of us have a really incredible looking poop we take a picture of it and send it to each other (laughs) (laughs) yeah I suddenly don't feel like um, my relationship with my brother is that strange anymore (laughs) So, like, if it, you know, if it comes out and it looks like a candy cane or a baseball bat or a guitar or, you know, things like that, then you take a picture of it and send it. That's not every, (laughs) not every bowel movement, Megan. (laughs) So. Yeah, that would definitely, I wouldn't, I I would have to hang up with you and just, that would be the end of our relationship. But this story has nothing to do with sending pictures to each other. That's just a side note. Anyway, I go number two in this dude's bathroom and I flush it. Uh It does not flush. Oh, no. It clogs. (gasps) And it starts to fill. And I, like, wait a little while and I'm like, fuck. If he even hears me flush a second time, he's going to know. (laughs) <laughs> that I took a shit in here, you know? <laughs> it's like, you know, I wanted to be fast. I wanted to get it done, flush it before any, you know, aroma arose from anywhere and where <laughs> I could just act like it was just a pee. But yeah. it didn't go down. <laughs> so we had to wait a while and I try to, you know, just give it another shot. Uh-huh. Doesn't go down, still filling up. Oh my so God. I started looking around for a plunger. Uh-huh. No plunger. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no plunger. So <laughs> I I was in my, you know, early 20s. I didn't know what to do. Now I would have like I would have figured something out. <laughs> you would have reached in and um and assisted. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't know that I could have done that but I might I might have but so I just kind of start panicking in there because after the third time that I try to flush it it starts yep. overflowing and water is going down the stairs 
Oh no. That are in this dude's apartment that go down into his living room where he's sitting. Oh no. Watching a movie. <laughs> How could you have not? How could have you like pushed the, this away somewhere in like the test of memory? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like uh, if if you if I would have if I would have known you back then, <laughs> yeah. you would have helped me out of this predicament. I would have. I would have gone over there and I would have reached in. I know. <laughs> I love you so much. No. <laughs> I didn't know you yet. So I was on my own. Oh gosh. So oh, gosh. I went out into the living room and told him. <gasps> Oh no, what did he do or say? I'm so sorry, I clogged your toilet. And do you have a plunger that I'm just not finding them? <laughs> and he goes, No, I don't. So he went in there and had to <laughs> he went in there and had to like chop it up with a toilet brush. <laughs> <laughs> and like sl- like push the toilet brush into like the toilet bowl <laughs> hole super hard to like get enough force in there like as if it was a plunger yeah <laughs> and then he never <laughs> <laughs> Well, he wasn't obviously he wasn't the right one. No. <laughs> oh man. Horrible. I can't believe you've never told me that before. I know. What in the world? What the hell? How? Like, do we even have a real friendship? I... <laughs> I feel like there's like a statute of limitations on like embarrassing things. Uh huh. Where there's just there's a certain amount of time that you need to wait afterwards after it happens before it becomes funny, right? And this is way longer. Like this story, this was a really long time ago, and I cannot believe that it has slipped my mind until now. But I'm glad that I could um, (sighs) contribute a poop story. Yes, yes, I am. I am glad. Yes, that was wonderful. Thank you. (laughs) We need to get more emails. I have a couple of emails that I can read, but they're they're not as you know they're not um, they're fairly tame compared to what we've dealt with in the past, which is totally fine. Yeah, Um, but. Please send us some more stories if you have them. Um, Any kind of, you know, just the worst day of your life. Let us know what it was. Our email is theworstdaypodcast at gmail.com. We're not, um, what is, we're not uh, scared, not scared, but um, we don't judge. We are, um, and like, it doesn't matter how extreme um, right. minus, you know, of course, like, you know, um, obviously we would have to inform authorities if it was something <laughs> that, you know, like too extreme, but <laughs> you know, we can talk about, you know, I'm not worried about us not having enough like material because <laughs> I know, like <laughs> yeah, I know that you've got, you alone have enough for forever but i just want you know i want to be able to include people Um, i do and i feel like people i feel like maybe there's a fear um is there do you think there could be a fear i don't (laughs) know embarrassment of maybe somebody hearing it and knowing that that was you or i don't know i don't know what kind of scenarios but anyway i have no idea you can uh feel free to leave your name off of it um that's totally fine okay so uh i have one that i'm gonna read you okay if you don't mind if you have time do you have time i've got some time okay this email is from our friend jen hi jen thank you so much jen for sending us an email okay yeah um friends so it was uh 2011 ish 
I had to go for my yearly exam. I had been studying to get into a top tier MBA program. I'm bad at math, so I focused on the verbal part of the G GMAT and had been just speed reading my heart out. Oh, I'm so bad at math too. I feel you. Yeah. I, as a person, am always late. So, of course, arrive at the office apologizing for my seemingly inevitable tardiness. I take the health history papers and fill them out as fast as possible. I turn them back in and am ushered to my room. I disrobe, put on the horribly thin paper gown, and sit, awaiting awkward questions that stand between me and my renewed birth control prescription. My new doctor comes in, shakes my hand, and asks me how I'm doing. I say, well, because I've been told that that's grammatically correct. And we start through my answers on the medical questionnaire. Family history, no major issues. No reasons to be here except I'd like birth control so I don't die from cramps, please. Yes, check. Doctor dramatically flips the paper over. Doctor. So I see you are currently being sexually abused. Me. <gasps> Um, I'm sorry, what? Doctor, there's a question here and you checked yes. Me, I'm sorry, what? I was late. I was going quickly. I, I'm really glad you have a question to help people, but I'm not, no. Oh my God. <laughs> sure. yeah. You seem to be well adjusted. And if you are, this is safe. Me, oh my God, no, I'm so sorry. I was late and I was just going quickly. Doctor, as long as you're okay, we can continue. Me, oh, yes, God. definitely. <laughs> Doctor, so I see here you have mostly female partners. <laughs> Me, now yelling, oh my God, no, I mean that I am female. I'm female. I must not have read the whole thing. I am female. Okay, now the both option makes way more sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Doctor, trying to control laughter. Uh, both both of these things are completely acceptable and i'm here to support you i'm sorry i'm laughing oh gosh how uh, uncomfortable <laughs> i know sorry he's that doctor should not be laughing okay yeah i then had to go through the exam i was so nervous through this experience that i got in sweaty and the paper liner stuck to my ass she had to peel it off yep not my finest so back in 2010 I loved that I had a doctor, accepting and kind, willing to help me out of a tough situation when I, when in actuality, I really just had to explain my way out of not fucking reading. Yeah. Cheers to medical professionals. What they do and see is not easy and nothing short of horrific at times. Learn from me and always read. Let these heroes save their strength for real emergencies or maybe give them something to laugh about. This was my worst day at one point. Take care, Jen. This reminded me of something that happened to me one time where I had my um, OBGYN laughing between my legs. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> your golden pussy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me tell you what my golden pussy did. This is amazing. <laughs> so, uh, I had just started dating someone and they informed me that when we were um, d being intimate with each other, uh -huh. that they could feel the um, like threads that hang off of your IUD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're supposed to be able to like feel them, you know, with your fingers or whatever, but um, they could feel them and it was really like, like scratchy feeling and really uncomfortable. Oh, geez. Yeah. It's like a, so long, like not... dong, a long dong. <laughs> so... <laughs> yes, long. That was his name. Long dong silver. <laughs> no. So um, I go, I was like, all right, well, I'll go to the doctor and just get it checked out. You know, maybe they need to be trimmed up or something like that. It had been a while since I had been, you know, sexually yeah. active. So, um, so I go, I go to the doctor and I'm like sitting there with, you know, my legs in the stirrups and all that stuff. And she's, she's down there and she like, sh like puts the little thingy, in the spreader in there. <laughs> it's like a, 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 not a scapula, a, um, a, um, look at S, something you, something in a, spe you, like. spe 
spe- speculum? 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 Yeah, maybe it's like, yeah. yeah, that's it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. So puts the spatula in there. <laughs> and so then she like shines a light in and just starts cracking up. Oh. <gasps> like super like laughing super hard and she was like i'm sorry i'm sorry and like trying to catch her breath and shit like totally laughing and i was like what is going (laughs) on down there yeah and she said she said i'm so sorry i've never seen this before she goes your iud strings are tied in a knot (gasps) like what she goes she was like your new partner has some kind of magic penis and tied these threads into a knot like tying a cherry stem into a knot. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Oh my god. That's insane. I know. So she like um like untied it and like trimmed them and stuff and like asked permission for me to like tell that story to other people like without saying who it was. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that she is. She said it was the funniest thing she's ever seen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would be freakishly like in that profession for sure. Like, yeah, you would want to be going to all of your, um, I don't know, conferences and whatnot and mm-hmm. telling fellow, <laughs> your peers, whatever about. She, she's like, <laughs> uh, can I take a picture real quick? Oh um, my god. No, no I'm kidding. I'm joking. Okay, I was like, okay, that's taking it a But that um that man had a golden penis and so <laughs> I married him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that would I at that moment yeah. I wouldn't even you would, I wouldn't even have to get me into the courthouse if someone um, had that kind of magical people <laughs> something in a knot um, like a, an IUD string. <laughs> Crazy shit! I'm finding out that I've never known before <laughs> this moment. What kind of friend am I? I just let you tell me all these like terrible stories, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. oh man, mm-hmm. oh that's <laughs> awful. That would only happen to you. <laughs> I just say that a lot, don't I? <laughs> That's like it's only something that would happen to you. <laughs> yeah. Marie, uh, Kenny's mom was telling me a story today at lunch about they were like down at like Newport um, Pier. This is totally like unrelated. But I was just thinking about like stories that are like yeah. somebody's worst day of their life. But later you can like kind of look back and laugh. Uh-huh. Well, maybe you, maybe this is that, hor- that horrible. But she was saying that they were down Newport Beach, and there was this lady. There was like a bunch of sea lions, kind of you know, like sunbathing or whatever. You know, like they kind of just like like lay there in their blob like way, um, yeah. barking and stuff. And so there's this woman, and she I was holding like a small poodle, and it was like going like going nuts um, because of these like sea lions, and it like it like flew out of her arms like jumped out of her arms and went straight down <gasps> and one ate it <gasps> like immediately. No. Yes. And then she's, she said, it's like a long time running joke in the family where they're like, don't loot, don't drop your poodle in the, to a sea lion or something oh like that. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, what the heck? we were there at the we were at the restaurant where they have sea lions like under the glass Uh um that it's like it's like in astoria where the um like kind of facing the like columbia river dump out point but yeah um, yeah yeah. but it was i don't know it was just like i I couldn't believe it that was like the god sounds so horrible to witness that and she and she's like she of course had to tell like tell me you know ahead of time you know that she's like you know loves you know i know she's a dog lover Uh anyway was she laughing while she was telling you the story (laughs) yeah i want to meet her that's so awesome she is so funny uh yeah it's she's fun to hang out with um we had a good we had we had fun because it was like our first 
it felt like we were going on our first date. I was like all yeah. nervous last night because it was like the first time we've gone somewhere just like the two of us. Aww. I was like, I don't want to like, you know, say something stupid or like, I don't know. I just was, was like really nervous about it for some reason. And then I was telling Kenny that I felt like I was going, it was like, a, like going on a first date. Aww. Um, but yeah, we had fun. And um, she like, she's always trying to be like really helpful and stuff too. So it's like trying to get Kenny some underwear because I noticed this morning that he was having like that weird thing that happens when your legs rub against each other and like wear out the inside of your underwear. Yes. Like rendel renders them kind of like useless. Cause you know, your balls just dangle out like a hole. <laughs> like yes. what is the yes. point of underwear? Anyway. So I was like, okay, he needs new underwear. So I was going to get some cause I knew we were going to Costco, you know, like where it's pretty cheap. But we went to Fred Meyer, and so she wanted to go to check out the underwear, you know, men's underwear there. And so we went over there, but it was like, oh, my gosh, one freaking package of freaking men's, like, the boxer um, briefs or whatever they are, uh -huh. uh, were, like, $40, which I thought was, like, insane. Yeah. And then the other package was $65. <laughs> And so she like justified it by it was like buy one get one half off, and then I felt so bad because we go to the Costco and they're like you know like a package of four for like twelve ninety nine. Oh, like, uh oh gosh, because she insisted on getting the underwear because I was like forty dollars. Like I'm not buying. Kenny's not worth forty dollars. <laughs> 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 she bought them and then she bought him deodorant because they were the same one holy moly but i will say i am one tired person yeah no kidding i am um, too i've been getting slapped in the face um all night long or just have a baby just yelling in my face why all night long <laughs> I don't know. She just started yelling at night and she'll just like you know, we co-sleep with her so she sleeps yeah. between us and she'll like roll from side to side and it's like she like leaves her hands out totally yeah. horizontal so that when she rolls over she just like flings her hand right into your face and smacks you. Oh yeah, that's fun. And so <laughs> cute. Yeah, it sounds adorable. <laughs> 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 or she just straight yells like she'll she'll just yeah just start yelling and i just put my boob in her mouth i'm just like stop <laughs> yeah yeah go back well, to sleep I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do uh-huh to but... stay sane all right well i guess let's close this sucker up then all right uh, call it a day Call Call it it 90, 90 bears yeah i oh well i wanted to say here let me double check right now since i found my computer in front of me <laughs> okay um as of right this moment while we are recording this mm -hmm. 863 people have listened to us talk about poop and or puke wow i know wow. <laughs> that's awesome and yeah. um we appreciate you listening or you you know telling a friend about it or you um just just you know being here yeah i think even if no one's here i um i think this is like the funnest thing ever and i really like doing it so we would keep doing it, but we still appreciate that people actually want to listen to it with us. Yeah. Well, you can uh, follow us on Instagram if you like. It's uh, the worst day. Oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I had too many glasses of wine. Oh, you did? Oh. <laughs> it makes me sound sloppy. 
Okay. I actually didn't notice. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Just I don't know what that's just about me. But yeah. <laughs> okay. So um you can follow us on uh, Instagram if you so choose. It's the worst day of my life dot podcast. Send us some stories at the worst day podcast at gmail.com. Um, anything terrible or embarrassing that's ever happened to you or someone that you know or um, just something that you heard of at some point, that's fine too. Um, we have a Facebook group. It's just the worst day of my life. (laughs) I hope at some point some other people will join in and like, you know, share some things that are happening in their lives if, if they want, but you know, they're shy, I guess. (laughs) Yeah. Oh my God. And Megan, I, I made us a Twitter. I don't know how to use it. I don't even, I don't understand Twitter at all. Yeah. And then like days later I was looking at it. Uh-huh. And you can't you can't change this after you make it, but I I did um the worst day pod cats c a t s nice worst day pod cats is our um Twitter. <laughs> so if you want to uh <laughs> like message me on Twitter and teach me how to use Twitter, it's um the worst day pod cats like. <laughs> kittens but cats yeah. <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it like that who cares yeah well, i'm not gonna yeah. use it anyway but um yeah uh do you have you have anything that you would like to share no i'm mm-hmm. just uh enjoy our special time talking and i do um would like you know some more make some friends you know hear some stories um get Uh some more you know like um some information to make us also not feel as bad about the worst days of our lives yeah (laughs) i guess that's wrong right that's where i sound (laughs) weird yeah Um, you guys we're sharing with you you should share with us too basically i mean just come say hi to us in the facebook group or something just so we know we're not alone yeah okay but just um remember that it could always be worse yes and we love you yes all right bye bye bye